How's it going, everybody? It's Ryan and Kathy back here in the kitchen. Thank you for joining us on another episode of A Bite of Life. Today, I have a subscriber's request. Jordan asked if I could do a schnitzel recipe. Now, a traditional Wiener schnitzel, German Wiener schnitzel, is made with veal cutlets. Um, we couldn't acquire veal cutlets, so we, I, I messaged him and asked if I could do a pork chop version or a pork version, and he said, yeah, that would be great. So uh, this is actually, so we're gonna do a pork schnitzel recipe, and uh, this is actually a very easy recipe. So there's not a lot of ingredients, and this is, anyone can make this. So I'm gonna just dive in and show you everything that we're gonna need, and we're gonna get started. First thing that we're gonna need is uh, pork chops. You can use pork loin, or uh, if you wanna just slice up your own pork loin and trim the silver skin, you can do that. Uh, we're using just already bone out pork chops. We're gonna pound this really uh, thin and then make a breading station. I've got an egg, unseasoned plain panko breadcrumbs, all purpose flour. We've got some sage and parsley from uh, our garden, so you can substitute, you, you don't have to use both of them, you could use one or the other. Uh, I've been looking for an excuse to use my sage, so, because look how cool that looks, so, and it smells amazing. I've got one small shallot, two garlic cloves, some salt and pepper, lemon, that's it. So, we're gonna get set up, I'm gonna set my breading station up, and I'll go through everything and show you how to, how to prepare this. Okay, so, what we are gonna do, what we're gonna start with is, we are gonna pound out our some of our boneless pork chops. You could just take a knife and take off the fat there if you want to. I love fat. You want me to leave it on there? Yeah. Kathy wants me to leave it on hers, so I might take uh, it off mine. So we're just gonna pound this real flat and I'll probably cut the sound so you don't have to hear me banging this. So we're gonna get them as flat as we can. got them pretty thin so so what we're gonna do we have our breading station now there's a couple ways you can do this you can use tongs if you don't want your hands to get messy and just put it in each of the the put it in each of the components so the egg wash was just egg beaten with a little bit of cold water so if you use your hands, see, I don't mind getting my hands dirty, so I don't have to use tongs. I'd rather just get right in there. So, but uh, if you use your hands, do one hand with the wet ingredients, one with the dry, and there you go. So you want to coat them real well and pat them, like really push it in there so it stays. And I'm going to do these real quick. Once they're breaded, I'm going to pop them in the fridge for about like 10 minutes. So when you do that, if you put them in the fridge after you bread them, it really helps them to, to set. So when you go to fry, it'll just make it even nice, nicer and crispier. So we're going to speed this up, finish breading these, and we'll be We have back. the fun part. All we got to do is cook. We've set these in the fridge for about 10 minutes just so they develop that crust, gets nice and solidified. So we have, in this pan, we have, uh, what we're gonna be doing is a shallow fry, which means that you're, you know, a deep fry, a deep fry means that every, your protein is gonna be fully submerged. Uh, this is gonna be about halfway up on whatever item you're gonna be shallow frying. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in here. So we're using some vegetable oil and also it's about half vegetable oil, half peanut oil. You can alter it to, you want a high burning oil. You don't have to use the peanut oil if you have allergies or anything like that. Um, or if you don't like it, you can alter any of these recipes to however you'd like. So you don't have to use the panko breadcrumbs for this. We tested this recipe out last week and it came out phenomenal. It was so delicious, so crispy. You can use just, you could use any kind of breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs, you know, make your own breadcrumbs. And I'm not gonna really claim that any recipe's ever authentic or traditional, so you're never gonna hear me say that. So, because I alter it 
to my preference and that's the same you could do the same thing so all we're going to do is shallow fry the 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 pork schnitzel just for about maybe two and a half minutes per side you can cook it fully in the oil until it's done but what i found with the the practice run was that with the with the uh, panko it wants to get dark before it's fully finished so what i did was i i tried a batch of just browning it on each side for a couple minutes and then just finishing it in the oven for about five six minutes on 400 degrees it actually uh, it got crispier in the oven it got so crispy so that's what i'm going to be doing this time so Okay, so it's been about two minutes per side, and I don't want the, the panko to get much darker, so we're gonna transfer it into our little baking dish here. So I already have, uh, I'm just gonna use the toaster oven. I didn't wanna turn on the oven just for a small batch like this, so we're gonna use the toaster oven. We have it preheated on 400. Um, I did salt and pepper the cutlets before. You didn't see it. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. I'm using some sea salt. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. If you add it right after, it's uh, done frying. It'll adhere to like the grease, so. And a little pepper. So, about five, six minutes. Just let it crisp up. For the, the lemon and sage butter sauce, we are gonna use a different pan. So a lot of times when you see me cooking a protein and then we build a pan sauce, we'll use the same pan. Since we're shallow frying, we don't want all that grease. We don't want all that oil. So, and uh, what we're gonna do is we juiced our, our um, three lemons. I saved a little bit for garnish, but I juiced most of it. So, and it was about a quarter of a cup. So we're very hot pan. A couple seeds snuck in there. It's gonna reduce real quick. Once it comes to a kind of a simmer, now all we're gonna do is we're gonna use cold butter. We're gonna do a few pats. And then at this time, I'm gonna add in the garlic and the shallot. And I'm gonna wait to add the sage and the parsley once this kind of just incorporates. I'm gonna need some more butter than this. I just wanna kind of just gradually, gradually add it. So we're almost done. I told you this is a super easy recipe. Once it's starting to come together, the lemon and the butter, we're gonna add in our sage, our sage and our parsley. And this is about done. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So look how pretty those look. We'll go like this. Go right across. Smells amazing. Okay, a couple sprigs of parsley on top. There we go. So this is our pork schnitzel. We got some steamed broccoli and we have a lemon butter, uh, lemon butter sage sauce. So we're gonna take a quick thumbnail and we'll do a taste test. Let's dive in here and taste this. It smells amazing. That lemon sage butter sauce smells so delicious. That's all I can smell right now. It smells garlicky. And yeah, it's nice and garlicky, lemony. So we'll give you, you guys first bite here. Can you see that, honey? Yeah. Nice and crisp. Let's give it a go. Mm. 
Got a nice crispness, crispy, crunchy. The panko, I really think, gives it a really nice crispy texture. That lemon sage butter sauce is absolutely delicious. It's, it brings a nice little zing, little brightness, um, and it, it just really bursts. That sauce is excellent on there. So, do you want a piece, honey? Yeah. I love it. I absolutely you love it. Top it with um, broccoli, please. Just try it without that first. Really good. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. It is very, very delicious. And look who it is. Hey, King! Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining us. If you do try this recipe, let us know how it turns out. We try to break it down, make it as easy as possible. So have a wonderful day and a nice weekend, and we will see you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe, or King will bite you. Hey. Bye. Doctor says you're not supposed to have pork, King. But it's my favorite, Dad. This is all you get, mister. It is his favorite, though. Good boy, King.